Hello, Chris Tunstall here. The recession has been biting ever and ever deeper, and it's now rumoured that some people are having trouble even heating their own homes. But it's nice to know that here in Britain, we've not lost touch with our traditional values of honesty and integrity. I saw this advert for a job on a website. It said, are you a talented actor? How about a career in sales? And I thought, yeah, that's why they do it, isn't it? That's why every year, hundreds of people clamour to get into the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. That's why they spend countless hours memorising tedious passages of Shakespeare, working on their oratory skills, so they can then pass on to a career in sales. Oh, Norman, I'm so worried about you. What are you going to do now that the UK tour of Julius Caesar has come to an end? Don't you worry, Mum. You'll be fine. I've found something that's way better. In fact, I found something that looks set to revolutionise live drama as we know it. What could that possibly be? Well, I'll tell you. I'm going to be playing this character who is a two-faced hypocrite, with no values whatsoever, who's an expert in getting people to part with money for things they don't need. And things they probably wouldn't even want, if only they were allowed to think for themselves. <laughs> it's the life story of Derek Brown, isn't it? It's better than that, Mum. The whole action centres around this uh, company CEO who works for this double glazing company and he hires this hacker to hack into the computer systems of business competitors and steal all their ideas. Oh, it's another reality TV show. It, Mum, it's way better than reality TV. There's a lad who's been there in his role only two weeks, right? And already he's so popular, people keep asking him to sign. Yeah, I've been given my first soliloquy to learn. You call it a pitch nowadays. But I've got my own manager to handle things for me. He reckons if I work hard enough, one day I could be a director. Well, if you put it like that, it does sound pretty impressive. But will it ever make it onto our TV screens? Of course it will, Mum. Of course. I mean, why else would they be calling it telly sales? 